If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video, guys. We're talking about Cardano ADA today. Hit that like button for me, guys. Leave about four five comments down below. We got to run these ADA videos up. They lagging behind the V-Chain videos. Let's get these videos up, guys. I know you love ADA just like I do. So hit that like button for me. I got my hot tea and honey, lot and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Boy, we got a doozy today. Cardano is doing well. Um... After a blistering rise the past couple of weeks here, past week, uh, it's taking a little break here. We're down about 0.1%, not too crazy at all. We still love us some ADA, guys. When in doubt, zoom out, and things do look quite well. Uh, still about 15, 20 cents away from all-time highs. Things are looking good. Guys, ain't nothing changed. We 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 really we literally are just stacking ADA and chilling, and staking to our favorite stake pools. Coins. We're staking a poop pool. We're staking a uh, uh, one com. So we're getting passive income. We're just stacking ADA and chilling, and our coin purses are quite hefty because of it. Moving on. All right, guys. So. In the view chain video I did beforehand, go ahead and take a look at that. I said something. I said, just because you make a lot of money in other areas, just because you're very business savvy in other areas, does not mean you know anything about crypto at all. All right? Think about it like this Warren Buffett, the greatest investor known to man, the greatest modern investor. Masa Musa was probably the greatest investor known to man, but the greatest known modern investor known to man, Warren Buffett, still does not believe in crypto. No should he. He's old as heck. Not trying to be ageist, but he doesn't need crypto. Crypto is not for him. Okay, Crypto pushes power to the edges. Crypto is not for guys like Mark Cuban or Elon Musk. I mean, it's there for them. It, we're not... We, you know we're about we're all about inclusion in the crypto markets but it's not for them it's for people like you and me people watching this channel people going to work wage slaving each and every day so that they can have a better life so that they could take the power back why am i going on this rant because mark cuban hating on cardano again you know talking about dogecoin he went on cnbc Talking about Doge is the strongest contender among digital currencies for widespread use as a medium of exchange. And while that may be kind of true, I guess, because people are people don't view crypto like money or investments, guys. They view crypto as a online casino, pretty much. So they literally throw their money into Doge. They literally throw their money in a safe moon and all that garbage. So, oh, I'm going to get a couple of dislikes for that. I already know. Matter of fact, how is, we'll, we'll take a look at how those are doing later. Um, but <clears throat> just because you're rich, Elon Musk and uh, Mark Cuban, does, not know, does that mean you know anything about crypto at all? Okay. You know how I know that? My man's Mark Cuban got rug pulled on, okay? Iron Finance lost millions of dollars. But Doge will have its run. Doge will have its day. We'll see what happens in the future. We will see what gets mass adoption. My humble opinion is going to be coins like VJ, and it's going to be coins like ADA. It's going to be coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum. I just don't see Dogecoin, guys. I'm not trying to hate. I'm not trying to be a hater, but I just don't see Doge standing the test of time. That's just my humble opinion. I bought a little bit of Doge. I, I caved in and bought a little bit of Doge too. So you can't say that I don't have Doge because I do. 
Moving on. Cardano Summit, guys, don't forget, September 25th and 26th, we will have smart contracts before then. Thank goodness. Seven events, 20 local meetups, and dozens of discussions taking place in both physical and virtual worlds. We will be covering all aspects of the Cardano universe. It is going to definitely be a great summit, guys. I cannot wait. Cannot wait at all. You can register here at this link. The world is invited. It's free to go. And the great thing about this is, too, guys, is that all of our favorite cryptos, all of our favorite anticipated projects coming on the Cardano blockchain will be presenting during this summit. So we'll get to hear from Liquid. I believe we'll get to hear from Sunday Swap. Don't quote me on that. We'll be able to hear from a lot of our favorite coins and their progress. You know, hopefully there'll be some um, demos of their products as well. So you do not want to miss the Cardano Summit. Again, it's September 25th and 26th. So 10 days. Uh, no, wow, it's August right now. I am. It's early in the morning, guys. I'm making these videos early. Sorry. Moving on. Summit. Okay. Ah, so I'm going to briefly go over this. If you've been living under a rock, if you've literally been living under a rock and you have not heard anything, the Cardano Alonzo upgrade date has been revealed. Okay, so September 12th, we should have smart contracts on the mainnet. If we get a no-go, um... If we get a no-go on that, then they'll push it out another week. But I don't expect any more delays. I was wrong. <laughs> a couple months ago, I said that ADA was not have smart contracts by September or October. I thought they were going to have smart contracts by November, December. But I was wrong. And I'm glad to be wrong on that because <laughs> it's working well for me and my coin purse. So... Um, again, nothing's changed, guys. We're continuing to stack eight and chill, and we got our feet up, man. It's nice. Hit that red button for me. Leave by 05. Comments down below, guys. Show me your favorite shit coin. Tell me what you have for breakfast today. And we're moving on. Oh, yeah. Sorry about the last Cardano video, man. Your Roy is still messing up. They need to fix your Roy ASAP. Okay. Um, people's money is not showing up. I showed you guys a way that if your funds aren't showing up in your ROI, how you can check it. You go to cardanoscan.io, you put in your receiving address, and your coin should be there. Anyway, moving on. Card we're talking about Africa, Cardano Africa here. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. Let's take a look at this thread here. Um, imagine you work hard, earn some money, but have to face the following. You can't spend more than $100 on international sites using your card. You can't spend your own money. You can't buy the PS5 if you wanted to because of monetary controls. Bitcoin fixes this. You got lucky to go abroad. You find some work. You want to send some money home to mom, but you have to pay ridiculous fees to do that. If it's an emergency, those funds might not get there on time. Bitcoin fixes this. You try to save some of that money, but food prices keep increasing. Your currency loses 25% of its value against the U.S. dollar in a year. 16% inflation, 20% food inflation. You don't want to deal with these monsters. You work harder, but only getting poorer. Bitcoin and crypto digital assets. Fix this. This is why I say crypto, ADA, Bitcoin, Ethereum is not for Mark Cuban. Crypto is not for Elon Musk. It's for people like this in Africa. It's for people like you and me. Again, we're pushing the power to the edges. We're becoming our own bank. Okay. Why did they choose Africa? It's simple. If blockchain ecosystems like Cardano can solve challenges faced by people in Africa. It can easily be adopted in every developing and developed country. Mass adoption of cryptocurrencies used to be the dream. But with Cardano blockchain, 
applications, it could quickly become a reality. Here are some major problems that can state how the final financial system is in Africa. We know that the majority of population is underbanked, high costs and low transaction speeds. So if you want to send money to your family in Africa or whatever, and you're abroad and you want to help them out, extremely high transaction fees. I think like 20%, 30%, they charge 9% close, 9% per transaction. Heck, that's like the tax rate up here for food. It's absolutely crazy. Um, high inflation rates, financial instability, lack of insurance, guys. Insurance, although I hate paying it, and although I think it's a scam, it is very, very necessary because if you're a farmer with a little putt-putt motorcycle and somebody crashes into you on the way to your farm, there's no way you can afford another put putt motorcycle you're poor as hell so how are you going to get to your farm how are you going to get materials you are ruined without it that's where Ulta Prism comes in that's where Cardano comes in Ulta Prism giving identity or a decentralized identity a did 5 million students in Ethiopia are now using these dids to track their performance even though this is an identity given to a unique individual, many people in the Cardano ecosystem believe it can be implemented to find jobs, pay for property, conduct voting, and build a sustainable infrastructure. That is the key. This may be just the beginning of something someone, uh, something no one ever saw coming. The users in the chain can increase to 107 million, enabling Ethiopians to be a part of their first globalization with the U.S. and other powerful economies. Cardano is a special asset given to the world by some of the smartest minds, and right now it claims to solve some of the key issues, expensive gas fees and sustainability. With Cardano Africa being implemented with the government backing, it says a lot about how strong this cryptocurrency is and will be in the foreseeable future. If the Mary upgrade turns out to be real deal, the Mary upgrade... You mean the Alonzo hard fork? <laughs> we can see the value going up significantly. It can no longer be treated as a speculative asset. And we know that to be a fact. And then, guys, we have this. We have we have a member of the paint chip brigade here. But first, we have Alonzo, uh, Charles Hoskinson. Why did I say Alonzo? We have Charles Hoskinson here. So Mike Novogratz hating on... Cardano, just because you have a lot of money does not mean you know about crypto. And I know, I know Mike Novogratz is a crypto genius, but he's a Bitcoin maxi. He turns his brain off to everything else that's not dealing with Bitcoin. And he said, he was talking to somebody, and he's like, I spoke to 20 of the smartest people I know in the space, and zero of them saw Card Cardano having traction with the devs. And then Charles bought back, bit back at him and said, Here, I can fix this statement for you, Mike. I've spoken with 20 of the smartest bankers I know in the space, and zero of them saw cryptocurrencies having any traction. Let's come back to this tweet every year, and we will call it August 15th, Mike check-in day, and I would agree. Um, man, these, these maxis are, are shaking in their boots, boy. They are shaking in their boots. Let's keep putting the pressure on them. Cardano is going to take over the world. Are you going to be ready? All right, guys, I love you so much. Don't let your names be dreams. I will talk to you tomorrow with the Cardano and VChain updates. Leave my 4-5 comments down below, guys. Have a good one.